this wonderful event that the kids are having a great time getting wet and going out and having fun is kind of an example of what organizations look for at successories. What they also look for in being motivated and inspired. So for a lot of organizations, they go to your website, they go to your company and say, I want you to help me be inspired because I need to motivate and inspire my employees, much like what we're doing today. We're getting together as an organization saying, what can we do better? How can we do this better? And what I'd like to do is I'm going to do a couple of exercises with you. However, the key is about being motivated and inspired. And while Warren may be the chief inspiration officer, each one of you in your own way is the chief inspiration officer for thousands of companies around America that contact Successory saying, I need to be able to lead my team. I need to be able to change my organization. I need to be able to create a culture where people are going to be motivated and inspired. And in order to do that successfully, you can't spell success without you. You are a key to the success of not only successories, but also to thousands of organizations and companies around the country. So I'm going to do a couple of exercises, and I hope you guys can play along with me. All right? So, and kids, if you guys want to follow, you can follow me as well. But I need you to trust me just for a moment. What I'd like you all to do is I'd like you to close your eyes. I'd like you to close your eyes. And as strongly as you can, I would like you to envision yourself being in your home, in your kitchen. Think about yourself walking over to your refrigerator and opening it up. In the ref refrigerator is a beautiful, bright lemon. You grab the lemon, you take it out of the refrigerator, you go to the counter, and you slice it open. You can feel the spray of the citrus. You can feel it on your fingers. You can smell it in the air. You turn it over, you slice it again into a quarter. You can feel the citrus in your hands. You can smell it in the air again. You take a wedge of the lemon, you pick it up, and you take a great big bite. Okay, we got a couple of chuckles and a few laughs. Open your eyes, please. How many of you are actually salivating right now that you've actually gone through this experience? Let me see a show of hands. All right, so there's a handful of people that literally can envision themselves being in their kitchen. And here you are outside with 100 people around you, but yet your mind is powerful enough to bring you into your kitchen. So now I want to do two more things with you. Clean that memory, get rid of that memory, the next thing I'd like you to do is close your eyes. Once again, close your eyes. And I'd like you to think of something sad. I would like you to think of something that kind of makes you feel maybe not great. It maybe makes you sad for a moment. How does that feel? Can you feel your body begin to kind of drop a little bit? You can feel yourself not to feel energized. Open your eyes. The power of motivation and inspiration is about changing that feeling, which so many people have every day. And now what I'd like you to do, and this is the last time we'll do this, I would like you again to cleanse your mind of that thought. I would like you to close your eyes one more time. This time, what I would like you to envision is something that makes you thrilled, something that energizes you, something that makes you excited something that you're passionate about. Open your eyes. How does that feel? It feels different. You feel power. You feel energy. You feel enthusiasm. You feel like you want to do something. Get up and go do it. Well, that's what motivation and inspiration is about. The inspiration part is the spark. It's the match. It's the thing that ignites you to make you want to do something and make a difference. Successories is a company that people come to because they believe it'll make a difference in their organization. You guys are not only the chief inspiration officers for those organizations, but you need to be the most enthusiastic person that you know. You need to be someone that's willing to go the extra mile and in the spirit of the spirit games that you'll be doing today, in the spirit of this barbecue, is today is the beginning of a culture of enthusiasm, energy, excitement, sharing with each other and helping each other grow as a team to be the most successful organization that you can be. Because 
If you want to talk about motivation and inspiration, it can't just be talk, it has to be action. So beginning today, this organization is going to be taking action towards being the leader in motivational and inspirational materials throughout the United States, continuing its experience of the past 25 years. So today is the beginning of your organization making a change. And I hope all of you have a lot of fun today, and I know there's a lot of a lot of stuff your kids are going to be doing. However, all of you as employees will also be doing some stuff. And I hope that you walk away from today realizing that today is the beginning of a new organization, a new change, and you're all in it together. I'll be around for the rest of the day. God bless, guys. Good luck. Hey guys.